that we have. Um, and uh, the first thing I should say is what a joy it was to work with uh, um, many, many people, dozens of people on uh, this exhibit. Um, uh, first of all, the University of Massachusetts uh, gave us a, uh, a wonderful grant about a year and a half ago uh, called a Creative Economies Grant, um, uh, which was um, uh, the, the primary fund that helped us put this together. The National Park has been fantastic uh, uh, to work with, David Blackburn, um, especially the National Park, and our, our fantastic designer, who's done a number of exhibits now here in Lowell, including the uh, uh, on the World Scroll several years ago, Chris Danemeyer at Crone Design um, is just a fantastic person uh, to work with. But also, um, uh, uh, John Sampas uh, uh, at the estate uh, was um, fantastically generous with his time and uh, with materials, and uh, just everyone who chipped in, but especially uh, Paul Marion, my, my partner in putting this together, who was uh, fantastic, and, and um, uh, just uh, I can't say enough for him uh, about him. Uh, this just wouldn't exist uh, without Paul, and uh, also without the dean's office at the university, and um, uh, Melissa Pinnell, who uh, worked in the dean's office, who really brought Paul and me together uh, to put this uh, project uh, together. Uh, and uh, we're just so happy that we could uh, get this um, installed uh, for this weekend, which is uh, such a great weekend every, every year, celebrating uh, Kerouac and Kerouac's le legacy uh, in, in the city. Um, that's what this project is really all about, Kerouac in the city. Uh, and um, uh, sometimes we forget uh, when uh, we read on the road that um, Kerouac uh, spent um, as much time uh, um, walking and writing about the city uh, as he spent um, uh, crisscrossing uh, North America. More time, in fact, <laughs> uh, um, walking uh, the city. Uh, and so uh, we hope that this uh, project um, introduces people to Kerouac in the, uh, uh, um, uh, in the city of Lowell, uh, who may not know um, that uh, Kerouac uh, was born here uh, or um, know much else uh, about him. Uh, and so um, I just want to thank all those people that helped us put this together. We're also working on a website uh, which has um, the same or a similar goal. Uh, that website will be done sometime soon. And uh, we're working with a, a number of the people that I just mentioned uh, on, on that. Um, so um, I think the best thing to do is just let you enjoy uh, the, and read through um, the, uh, the project here. But let me, let me introduce uh, Dave Blackburn, who has a, a couple of other things uh, to say before we let you go do that. And for those of you who don't know this uh, gentleman, it's Michael Miller, assistant professor. <laughs> Time is uh, Paul Marion. Um, I'm David Blackburn, the Chief of Cultural Resources and Cultural Programs here at Lowell National Historic Park, and we're thrilled to work with our longtime partner, University of Massachusetts, uh, to pull together this wonderful um, exhibit. Um, I'm reminded by uh, another great uh, American writer, Gertrude Stein, who's uh, lamenting the loss of her childhood home in Oakland, California, once proclaimed that there is no there there. Well, um, if Jack was back amongst us um, today, looking at Lowell, hopefully looking at the work we've done, um, the heritage of our city, the heritage of what um, he was once a part of, he would be happy to know that there is a there there in Lowell, Massachusetts. But without uh, further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, Mr. Michael Creasy, uh, the superintendent of Lowell National Historical Park. I feel totally overdressed for you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have a bit of a flannel shirt. <laughs> or a number Football 35. <laughs> but, anyhow, <coughs> thank you, David and Michael um, and Paul and John and Steve and Gosh, just about everybody that's a Kerouac fan in the city. It's a, it's, a, it's a passion that I was brought into when I first got here. And I asked um, some folks in my office, like, what, what do I uh, read to kind of understand Lowell? And um, I got several books, a lot of books. Um, 
a lot on textile history, labor history, and things like that. But I got two books uh, on my shelf. One was uh, The Town of the City, and the other was On the Road, uh, which I had already read On the Road, but I never read The Town of the City. And it always struck me um, that national parks are about places, they're about people, and they're about identifying these cultural landscapes so people can experience them. And the way that Jack wrote just caught me in ways that uh, I'm not sure anybody else um, uh, caught me. And his first opening paragraph that he wrote in The Town and City always struck me as the place of why we're here, why the National Park Service is here. The Merrimack River, broad and placid, flows down the New Hampshire hills, broken at the falls to make frothy havoc on the rocks, foaming on ancient stones towards a place where the river suddenly swings around about in a wide and peaceful basin, moving on new or moving on now around the <coughs> flank of the town onto places known as Lawrence and Haverhill, through a wooded valley and onto the sea at Plum Island where the river enters an infinity of water and is gone. It just struck me like, who here doesn't know where that is? Um, and why are we here? Why is Lowell here? Why is the National Park Service, why are you here? Why was Jack here? Um, it was about this river and about this place. And it just struck me like, um, Jack is known for on the road. But as I think you said, Michael, it is an introduction to the city and about place. And as David mentioned, it's about the connection to what's still here. And I think um, I just applaud the efforts of all of you that helped to put the exhibit together. I don't think any of us expect that this is the exhibit that will be the end all exhibit to Jack Kerouac. There's a lot of creativity and, and understanding of where we need to go with this theme um, and his story. Um, but it's a start. And it's a place that 360 some days a year people can come to and they can learn about it and they can go on and explore the city in Jack City. So to everybody that's been a participant and a fan making this happen. I just want to say thank you. Thank <laughs> you.